friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I follow Weight Watchers and I count macros and calories. Happy January, happy 2023 and welcome to a favorites video. These are my December favorites. I had some really fun, unique favorites for the month of December. I have clothing for you. I have a device favorite. I have beauty, skincare, and lots of WW food favorites. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a favorites every month and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below as I will link everything that I'm sharing with you today with the exception of what you can find at your local grocery store with any discounts, all the information, links for easy shopping are down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. As you know, this is how I've lost over 135 pounds, and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So I have a lot of favorites. My desk is covered. Let's jump in. I'm going to start with WW food favorites. I have quite a few, not as many as normal, only because I just put out my top 22 foods of 2022. I'll link that video down below if you missed it. I shared my 22 favorite foods for the year, so I don't have a lot of new exciting foods to share, but in case you missed that video, I wanted to share with you some of the foods I really have been loving over the last month. So first are these little freeze-dried fruit packets. Now I buy these off of Amazon. These are from the brand Brother all natural. These are the banana and strawberry fruit crisps. So all that's in here is bananas and strawberries. No added sugar, 45 calories for the pouch. I love that it's an individual serving. That's helpful not to overeat them. I count these as zero points. It's literally fruit. And this is the same amount of fruit I would eat in whole form is what's in this freeze dried packet. You already know what I love to do with this is put it on my yogurt. It adds a crunch, gives me a little bit of fruit, some fiber, a little bit of healthy, extra healthy benefit to my yogurt. I love these. I just buy them off of Amazon. Again, I love the packets. They're affordable, cheaper than you can find them at your local grocery store. Next up is a protein shake that I picked up kind of on a whim. I actually went on to the GNC website to buy their mint protein shake that so many of you said, Jen, you need to get that because you love mint. I love that protein shake. And while I was on their website, I bought a case of the Girl Scout Caramel Coconut. These are really good. They are very caramely, very coconutty. You know I make a protein coffee every morning with my four shots of espresso and complete protein shake over ice. I actually had this exact protein shake in my coffee this morning. I really like it. There's 25 grams of protein, two grams of sugar. I've really grown to like the GNC brand of shake and you can often get them on a really good sale. I just ordered a bunch of cases on their website and had them shipped to my doorstep. So I'll link them down below. Also know I love trail mix and this trail mix, I can't get enough of this. It's so good. This is from the brand Wild Roots and this is the Omega Powerhouse Trail Mix. Now I bought this at Sam's Club. I wanna say it was like $9 for the bag. It is so good. It contains ALA omega-3s, 12 grams of protein in a half of a cup serving or six grams in a quarter cup. I usually eat a quarter cup. It is non-GMO and what's in here, really good ingredients. Basically it's almonds, pumpkin seeds, protein chocolate gems, which are like protein chocolate chips, walnuts, protein granola clusters, strawberries, strawberry flavored cranberries, banana chips, and banana clusters. Really, really good. It's that perfect salty sweet with a little bit of chocolate. I've actually been eating this as a dessert because I figure why not? I'm getting in six grams of protein. It's 180 calories for a quarter of a cup. That's usually what I eat. So it's a little bit higher in calories and points, but it's delicious. I can't recommend it enough. I'm already like halfway through the bag. That's how much I love it. I also bought these at Sam's Club and have really grown to love these. Like love, love, love these. I have to control myself around these. These are from the brand True Fru and these are the hyper dried strawberries, freeze dried strawberries covered in white chocolate. They're so good. They're 150 calories for a quarter of a cup and you get a one gram of protein. I wanna show you what these look like. 
this is what they look like. They are absolutely huge. And like I said, it's a freeze dried strawberry with this really good kind of white chocolate coating. But what's great about true fruit is it's a pretty clean ingredient, sweet treat. So I'm getting in some fruit and what's in here ingredient wise is really good. I don't see anything that's questionable other than natural flavor. There is a little bit of natural flavor in the kind of white chocolate coating, but there's natural flavor and everything. I'm not too, too concerned with that, but this has been a really good sweet treat for me with cleaning up my diet. Next up are my Motivate Greens. I do not eat enough greens. One of my goals for the new year is to have a veggie with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I've been doing really good with that, but I still feel like overall, I don't eat enough greens, so I love having a greens, alter a greens supplement. This one is sugar-free in the flavor tangerine. It is so good. Here's what it looks like. It does not taste like grass. It actually smells really good. It smells very fruity. It dissolves beautifully. It is not chalky. It is not gritty. There's no sediment at the bottom of my water bottle. I love this. It's been a big game changer for me to get in my greens every single day. It also helps me get in my water because I actually add this to my 32 ounce water bottle. So not only am I getting in greens, but I'm drinking 32 ounces of water in the process, which is helping me reach my water goal. I love Motivate. You guys know it's my all-time favorite supplement brand. I pretty much have everything that they sell. I really, really love it. I'll link it down below with 20% off for you guys, but pick up the greens. I like the tangerine. There's other flavors. I plan on trying them all, but it is my favorite green supplement that I've tried. You know that I like the One Up Nutrition greens too, but these are actually even more affordable. So I've been kind of leaning towards the Motivate greens. Let's talk about crackers. I love a good cracker. Sometimes I just want cheese and crackers and meat for a lunch or for a dinner. And with cleaning up my diet, I went back to my OG, which are my Simple Mills crackers. Now, I like all the Simple Mills crackers, but this one's my favorite. This is the almond flour cracked black pepper. Now, I got these off of Imperfect Foods. I'll put Imperfect Foods in the description too if you want affordable groceries that help with food waste delivered to your doorstep. I get Imperfect Foods every two weeks. That's actually where I got this. They are offering some free groceries right now when you sign up. So I'll put the information in the description box for you, but you can buy these at Sprouts, Whole Foods, Natural Grocers, a lot of your regular grocery stores. You get 17 crackers for 150 calories. You're also getting three grams of protein. And here's the ingredients. This is why I really like these as a cracker alternative, a cleaner cracker alternative. You have a nut and seed flour blend that includes almonds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, tapioca starch, cassava flour, organic sunflower oil, sea salt, organic onion, organic cracked black pepper, organic garlic, and rosemary extract for freshness. That's it. Clean as clean can be, and they're delicious. I love Simple Mills crackers. So this one, like I said, is my favorite, but you can't go wrong with any of them. And last but not least is my favorite protein powder. I have fallen in love with this over the month of December. I'm actually going to be ordering more flavors. This is the Ascent Native Fuel Micellar Casein Protein. So this is a casein protein versus a whey protein. I'll put up here on the screen the difference between the two. I did buy mine in vanilla bean. It has 25 grams of protein per scoop. It is slow digesting. There are no artificial ingredients in here, which I very much appreciate. It is 110 calories for one scoop. What I also like about Ascent is it is sweetened with stevia, so it's a much better alternative than some of the other sweeteners out there like sucralose. And because it's a casein protein and it's slow digesting, it's great post-workout. So this is something I really like to enjoy after a workout to kind of help rebuild my muscles. Sometimes I just mix it with water, I blend it up, I've baked with this protein powder. It is so good, I put it in overnight oats. It is really so delicious. The flavor, the vanilla is so sweet and yummy. And I just really like that it's a slower digesting protein. So it definitely helps keep you fuller for longer. I also love the Ascent Whey Protein. I buy this right off of Amazon. Super, super affordable, especially for a casein protein. These can be upwards of like $80. And I want to say this one's less than 40 on Amazon. So I'll put all the different Ascent options down in the description box. Like I mentioned, I have a device option. I have a device favorite that I want to share and that's my Lumen. Now I shared this in a recent What I Eat in a Day. I actually did an entire full review of this. I'll link that video for you too. This is a metabolism hacking device. This is called the Lumen, 
L-U-M-E-N. So what you do is you blow into this. It's going to measure the CO2 and other pieces of your breath to determine whether you're in fat burning mode, carb burning mode, or a mix of both. It's a really great tool to know where's your metabolism at during the day. How is it affected by exercise and the foods that you eat? What happens if you eat carbs before bed? Do you wake up in carb burning mode versus fat burning mode? What happens when you eat protein instead of carbs? It's just very, very interesting. You simply blow into it. All of the information is on the Lumen app on your phone, so it's very, very simple to use. I have been loving this. I also, I always say I'm kind of a data nerd, so I like to know as much as I can. That comes with my nutrition and coaching and weight loss coach background, as well as just wanting to know how my body reacts to certain foods. Food can play a big part in whether we reach our health and weight loss goals, so I wanna know how my body is reacting and Lumen gives me all of that information. I love this, I love it. I take it everywhere. It comes with this cute little carrying case, so I take it in my purse. It lives in my office during the day so I can measure what how my food is reacting to my body all day long track it in the app, it gives you nutritional advice, tells you kind of what macros you should be focusing on to get the best results. It's genius. It's absolutely genius. I love, love, love it. I have a $50 off discount. Thank you to Lumen for offering that for you guys. I reached out, they gave you guys a $50 off coupon, so that'll be down in the description. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Then I wanna talk about a couple of clothing favorites. I get asked a lot about the clothing that I'm wearing, and I've shared both of these items in previous videos, but I've worn them a lot over the month of December. The first one is my Fit Yond leggings. I have actually shared these multiple times on my channel. These are a Lululemon legging dupe. They are very similar, and when I say very, I mean 99.9% .9 the same as the Align leggings from Lululemon. These are $10. 10 on Amazon, not 120 at Lululemon. They are so buttery soft. They are so compressive. They are so flattering. They even have the booty seam, so it makes your booty look really nice. I love my Fit Yon leggings. I actually own every single color that they have. I know the solid ones are $10 right now on Amazon. You know that prices on Amazon change. Right now they're 10 bucks, so I'm gonna link them down below for you. I love, love, love these. Honestly, I reach for these more than my Lululemon leggings, and those of you that have purchased these have concurred that these are some of the best leggings out there. $10. And the second clothing item is this little off the shoulder shirt that I wore in the recent What I Eat in a Day. Actually, the What I Eat in a Day that I reviewed the Lumen in. So that video is linked for you. This is a little strappy one strap off the shoulder top. It is long sleeved. It is so soft and warm and comfortable. It has this fun little knot kind of ruched design in the front. So it's very flattering. Camouflage is the tummy area. So if that's a problem area for you, this little ruching and looseness around that area really camouflages that. I bought this on Amazon and I bought it in purple because I've really gotten into purple, but I am going to go buy a few more colors because it is one of the most flattering, most comfortable, affordable shirts that I have. And every time I wear this, you guys always ask where it's from. So Amazon, Amazon fashion, I'm telling you, you can find some amazing deals. Now let's talk about some skincare, beauty, fragrance favorites. Let's start with the fragrance that I purchased in December that I can't get enough of. And that's the Versace Bright Crystal. I mean, how over the top is this packaging? But this fragrance, I love everything about it. It is fresh, it's fruity, it's floral, it's woody, it's everything I would ever want in a fragrance all rolled into one. Now, she's not a, she's not super inexpensive. I mean, it's Versace, but it smells so good, and every time I wear this, I smell myself all day. I mean, it literally lingers all day, and every time I wear it out in public, I get 100 compliments. People have stopped me in the grocery store to compliment this fragrance. I really, really just love it. It's so good and a little bit goes a long way. So yeah, it's not inexpensive, but you don't need a lot of it to have it last all day long. I'm loving this and will most likely be repurchasing this pretty much forever. And the one skincare thing that I've tried new this month, it takes me usually more than a month to go through skincare, so I'm not rotating it out that often, but this 
entered into my life at the beginning of December and it's almost gone. I mean, it's on its last legs. This is from Juice Beauty. It's the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Retinol Overnight Serum. So this is the serum I apply at night. It has retinol in it. This serum is amazing. It smells really good, kind of green apple-y, but it really just sinks into your skin, helps plump up those fine lines and wrinkles. And when I wake up in the morning, I feel like my skin is bright and flawless and refreshed. I love it. I truly, truly love it. This will probably be my go-to nighttime serum. I love a good retinol too. It's really good for aging skin. Highly recommend. And I, I, you can buy this at stores like Ulta. I guess to classify this as skincare, kind of, this is the sunscreen I've really been loving. I live in Arizona, so I put sunscreen on my face every single day. I mean, I would even if I didn't live here, but even more importantly, because I do, and it's pretty much sunny here every day. This is from Supergoop, and this is the Unseen Sunscreen in SPF. 40. This is just a little one. I do have the full size, but I've been using this one up. I really like this sunscreen. I feel like it layers really nicely under makeup, and that is something that's important to me. I wear makeup almost every day, so I like to have a sunscreen that's going to layer and not pill up or look cakey under makeup, and this one does the job, and it protects my skin from the sun. Really, really love this and will definitely be a go-to. Another thing I tried in December is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Under Eye Brightening tint. I love this. I bought this, forgot that I bought this. So I bought this long before December, found it in my backup makeup skincare, which I have drawers and drawers of skincare and makeup. So things get lost. Things get lost in the abyss of those drawers. But I found this when I was organizing them and thought I should try that out. I love this. I apply this before I apply makeup, just to my under eye area. It kind of camouflages any darkness, adds a brightening effect that is even seen under concealer and foundation. I really, really love this. I love the applicator. It's kind of like a flat lipstick applicator. So I'll just dab it on and tap it in. I really, really like this. Glad I found it in my backups so I can repurchase. Another thing I found in my backups <laughs> the end of November and started using in December is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This is like a $7, $8 foundation. I love it. I absolutely love it. It has a pump top on it. It is so flawless on the skin. It is a little bit more of a mattifying foundation. So if you have oily skin, you'll probably love this. I prefer a more luminous glowy foundation, but I just mix an illuminizer or some type of glow in with it. Right now I'm using the Liquid Glow from ABH. It's another product I really love. Let me show you. This right here, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow. So I'll put some of this on my skin. This is actually almost gone. And the e.l.f. foundation, blend that out and I get this really pretty glow from within naturally. But I like this foundation because it's super affordable. It lasts all day and does not settle. Does not settle into your skin or look cakey at all. And these two together is literally like a combo, is a dry skin, normal skin girl's dream. So I'll link this one down below for you too. She wasn't going to be in my favorites, but she's definitely a favorite because like I said, it's almost gone. These two paired together, love. Another thing I get asked all the time is what is on my lips. So I'm going to share with you what is on my lips today. Actually, let me grab the lip liner. So these are the three lip products that I'm wearing today. So the first thing is the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Bold Brew. So this is a just neutral medium brown lip liner. So that's my lip liner. And then for my liquid lip, I am very much a liquid lip person. I don't really use bullet lipsticks at all. In fact, I decluttered all of my bullet lipsticks. If you love makeup as much as I do and you're not subscribed to my beauty channel, what are you doing? Come subscribe. I upload lots of videos, lots of tutorials. So if you want to know how I do my makeup, that's where you're going to find that. So it's budget beauty. I'll link it down below for you, but I decluttered all my bullet lipsticks because I love a good liquid lip with a lip gloss. And today I'm wearing from Tarte. This is the Tarteiste and I cannot read the shade. I can't read what shade this is. I'll figure it out and I'll link it down below for you. But this is a Tarte liquid lip. And then I topped it with this one from Ofra. This is one of my favorite lip gloss from Ofra. This one I can read and it is in the shade Truffle. This lip gloss, you can wear it all by itself because it's pretty opaque. I love it. I always like to put a gloss over a liquid lip. So you'll see me pair really the three lip products every single day. But this is what's on my lips today. One of my favorite neutral nude combos. I wear this all the time. And then of course, we're going to end out my beauty favorites with the eyeshadow palette favorite of the month. I love her. 
<laughs> this is the Natasha Denona Dream Palette. I bought this palette in the month of November and I have used it so many times. I mean, look how beautiful this is. It is very neutral. There are a pop of purple, a pop of berry. It is very cool toned with just a few warm shades. I love this shade down here that kind of shifts from pink to gold to green. Absolutely beautiful. I love this palette. I have worn this palette a lot. And this whole little rack back here that you guys always think is books is eyeshadow palettes. I have almost 200 palettes and I'm reaching for this one on a very regular basis. So it indicates to me it's a favorite. I love the formula. I love the color story. I love how easy it is to use. It isn't a super inexpensive palette, but it's an everyday go-to palette. I mean, you could wear this every single day. So if you don't have a lot in your collection or you're looking for more of a neutral with a twist everyday palette, highly recommend the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. So those are all of my December favorites. We had a good mix this month. We had all sorts of good things from food to beauty, skincare, makeup, clothing, devices. We had it all. As always, I'll link everything down below for you for easy shopping, any discounts I can find or discount information. That'll be down in the description box as well. With nutrition coaching, the videos we talked about, my goals video, and my what I eat in a day where I reviewed the Lumen and I'm wearing this purple shirt will be down in the description box along with links and discounts to my other favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.